Hey everyone, it's Saturday morning. I'm in my kitchen with my coffee. My coffee! And uh, of course in my workout clothes because I'm getting ready to work out. But let's talk about Smackdown from last night. Simba, do you want to talk with us? My kitty might be joining us at any moment. We'll see what happens. But, alright. So as we know, this show is pre-taped. I did not look at the spoilers. I don't like looking at spoilers. I just want to like live through the show. That's just how I watch wrestling. That's why, you know, like sometimes I bring in insider information that I see like on Jim Cornette or other people's or YouTube's or whatever. But like really, I just love sitting and watching the matches, quite honestly. So that's how your girl rolls. Um, the crowd, I feel like, saw what happened in Lyon and was like, we need to be big. Like, but only half that audience got the memo because some people are going wild and some people are just like, which either is okay. I just kind of think it's funny because I don't remember. I Maybe mean, I have to go back and watch some of the other shows from Saudi Arabia. I don't remember them being that like loud. And I feel like they were more loud than usual. I could be wrong though. I could be having selective memory. But with that, um, we kicked off with the Queen of the Ring qualifier with Nia Jax. I was kind of surprised. I thought they were going to go the other way. Uh, um, but it makes sense with what they did later. I, I just, they've kind of like, I feel like how is Val Killary, like how is she going to beat Nia? Like, I just feel like this is kind of like predetermined, but maybe they'll surprise me. I'm still going to watch it. We'll see. But I was kind of like, I just feel like Bianca and Val Killer, their size would have made more sense. But again, we'll see what happens. Um, with that, they had the whole backstage thing with Jay Cargill and the fight and stuff, and I like that. It set up that match later on. Um, I just don't get the Waller effect. I don't get Waller. I don't really, like, I, I don't get Austin Theory. I feel like Austin Theory, they sold for a while as being really big, from my understanding, and now I feel like he's just an afterthought. And now you got Kamala Hayes hanging out with them. It's like the Stooge group for uh, Logan Paul. I don't know how else to say it. I just feel like they're kind of lost in the mix right now. And I'm kind of surprised because they picked Carmella so early in the draft. And I feel like I, I'm so confused by what their plan was until halfway through the segment. That was my thought process when LA Knight came out. So clearly he's going to feud with LA Knight. I kind of love that feud. I think they'll be great together. They're both really good on the mic. My only concern for LA Knight, because I, you all know, I am all about LA Knight. I love me some LA Knight. I loved when he got over with the fans. I loved when he got his, started to get his push. So I feel like this is almost like they're putting in the role of the veteran that's going to put over the young guy. And I don't want to see him caught in that model for a long time. So that is my concern. But I'll roll with the storyline for a little bit. Of course, Cody... Cody, Cody, my favorite. We all know Cody Crybaby here. Card carrying member of the Cody Crybaby fan. Um, love that the crowd all sang their song. My husband even commented, he's like, seriously, they're in Saudi Arabia and they're singing his song. I'm like, yes, they are. And so am I at home screaming my lungs out. I love a good Cody moment. Um, I like the interaction with him and Logan Paul. I feel like it added, because that match was kind of just like, put together it was like you know once back out they're like and your next opponent is logan paul i feel like it added some depth to that match that was needed like i was feeling like was needed and i like that interaction i like when cody gets a little angry personally i feel like it just adds more depth to his character. You know, he's not always the smiling good guy. He can get down. Um, and I'm curious for this match because I feel like Logan Paul tends to be a flippy flip guy. And you all know I love that. Like, I grew up watching the Hardy Boys. I love Ricochet. But Cody's style is very different. That's not his style. So I'm curious to see how Logan adapts to the style. Because I don't think Logan's calling this match. Typically, the heel calls matches. I do know that from the back end of things. But I feel like you kind of have... Cody, Cody Cody knows what he's doing. Let him lead this one. Um, 
And I think Cody's the only one. If you're wondering why I think that I have, and Cody's the only one, I think Nia Jax is the only one. That brings us to King of the Ring. So Randy Orton won. Now, I am curious what they were going to do. Because I kind of thought if Gunther won, they were going to have Randy Orton win. With that said, is Randy going to put over, oops. All right, lights are back, sorry. Is Randy going to put over Gunther? Because I could see that. And I can see that giving Gunther so much gravitas. However, they've had Randy lose a fair amount recently since his comeback. If you think about it, WrestleMania, he like there's been several losses. Some wins, but several losses and bigger losses. I'm wondering if they're going to have Randy win, challenge uh, Damian Priest, for the world heavyweight title. Because I don't, I mean, I, unless they're going to turn him heel, I don't see him going after Cody. That would be an amazing match. That'd be ama like if they built that right, if they like made that into a series, I could see that being amazing. Like the mentor versus the mentee. Like I could see it, but I just don't see them turning Randy heel yet, personally. Um, so with that, I feel like they're going to put over Gunther. But. Again, kind of like I'm with Allie Knight, I'm, I'm worried about where that leaves my boy Randy in storyline-wise, okay? Like, that's that's my fear. That's what this is coming from. Because I do love me some Randy Orton. I love me some Allie Knight. We all know I'm a Cody crybaby. They're kind of like my guys right now. Um, I'm missing Rhea Ripley so much. So we'll see. And, yeah, so we will see what happens today. It is 7.30 where I live right now in the morning. I have hot yoga, I have to go clean the river house, and then we're going to be watching with all of y'all, king and queen of the ring. And by the way, WWE, if you've ever seen one of my videos, I would love to model that crown for you. <laughs> I feel like I'm not the only one, but call me, just call me, I'm here. Uh, with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I do not know if I'm gonna get a SmackDown review out next week, because I will be officially at the pageant so if you want to follow my journey that on that i thank you all for all your love and support you can follow me over on insta um and it's at victoria waco just like here um it's in my link tree i think but yeah i'm really easy to find so if you want to follow my journey i will be posting a lot hopefully over there in stories over the weekend but yeah i'm not sure i might get another one of these out for smackdown i will for sure be back with a Raw review, of course, we have to do the Raw after the PLE, so we will be back for sure for that, and I will try to sneak away for a couple minutes and give you all a SmackDown review in all my pageant glory <laughs> next Saturday. So, bye, have a good day, and I will see you all soon.